Hi guys, today I'll show you an adventure horror, action film, The Lair. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie commences with on-screen text detailing a 2017 bombing incident. The text elucidates that the U.S. military deployed a massive non-nuclear bomb in a remote insurgent province. However, what unfolds goes beyond the surface, revealing the hidden truth behind the bombing. Captain Kate leads a group of fighter pilots who suddenly come under missile attack. Despite deploying countermeasures, they find themselves defenseless. A missile strikes Kate's jet, triggering memories of her family at home. Kate crashes, but her teammate saves her just before insurgents arrive armed with rifles. Kate's teammate advises her to feign death while he confronts the insurgents, but he is soon overpowered. Kate continues her ruse. Dispatching to insurgents in the process, an insurgent charges at her with a sword but is thwarted by her barely surviving teammate. Kate bids an emotional farewell to him and attempts to radio for support, but receives no response, unbeknownst to her. An insurgent survived and rejoins his comrades. The insurgents discover Kate and engage her with their firearms. She retaliates fiercely, refusing to surrender despite being outnumbered. Running out of ammunition, she flees into a mysterious cave entrance. Using a glow stick for illumination, inside, she stumbles upon a hidden bunker. Complete with a rotting corpse, investigating further, she discovers a paper with Russian text, revealing this as a testing lab for human subjects with bodies inside pods. Kate seizes a portable hard drive, but the insurgents catch up. Their shock at the pod contents distracts them, allowing Kate to incapacitate one. She takes his weapon for defense. The insurgents open fire, inadvertently breaking a pod, releasing a grotesque, awakened creature that attacks and devours one of them as Kate sneaks through a vent. An insurgent grabs her leg, refusing to let go. Suddenly, the monstrous creature awakens and dispatches the insurgent. Kate escapes the cave but sustains injuries in the process. She shoots at the monster to no avail and resorts to chaining the doors to trap it inside. Confronted by an insurgent nicknamed Beardy, he flees upon spotting the monster. Injured and desperate, Kate attempts to find safety. Eventually, a team of American soldiers locates her, explaining they were sent to rescue her. One soldier thoroughly searches Kate and confiscates her locket and hard drive. Kate implores them to leave the province urgently, but the soldiers underestimate the danger and transport her to their camp. Kate meets with the captain and Scruffy is also revealed to have been apprehended by the American soldiers. Kate informs the captain about the Russian bunkers and the deadly creature, but he dismisses her claims as nonsense, believing them to be absurd. Kate remains firm in her conviction that what she witnessed was real, but the captain ridicules her, suggesting she lacks any combat experience. Just then, Sergeant Hook arrives and vouches for Kate, yet even then, the captain refuses to heed her advice. Later, Kate confronts Soldier Braids for stealing her locket, though she attempts to feign innocence. Tensions rise as the women seem on the verge of a physical confrontation, but Hook intervenes and orders Soldier Braids to return Kate's locket. Hook takes a moment to speak with Kate, trying to reassure her despite the captain's unfriendly demeanor. Kate expresses her curiosity about Hook's background, and he reveals that he lost two of his soldiers in combat due to his own recklessness. Meanwhile, the captain opens a letter addressed to him and displays signs of concern. This prompts the captain to contact his colonel and report his encounter with Kate. Kate receives medical treatment for her injuries from the doctor and notices Scruffy beside her. Kate implores Scruffy to speak up as he also witnessed the creature, but the doctor informs her that Scruffy does not know any English. Hook enters the tent and wishes to discuss what Kate saw in the bunkers. Kate, with her photographic memory, writes down the Russian text she saw in the lab. Nobody seems to comprehend the text's meaning until Scruffy reveals he can speak English and Russian. Scruffy explains that the text translates to do not open and clarifies that the Soviets were behind everything Kate witnessed. Hook raises doubts, pointing out that if the bunkers belonged to the Soviets, they would be 30 years old, and no human could have survived for so long. However, Scruffy contends that whatever lurks below is not human as night approaches. It becomes evident that the creatures are awakening from their slumber, breaking out of their pods. These monsters can also open locked doors and make their way outside the bunker. The situation worsens as the Major is given a voluntary discharge, and he decides to use the hard drive Kate found as leverage against the Colonel outside. 
The soldiers keep watch for any insurgents, but Hook remains suspicious due to Kate and Scruffy's revelations. Suddenly, a soldier disappears, and another spots a monster. They open fire, but the creatures are swift and evade the bullets. A tense standoff ensues as the soldiers struggle to prevent the monsters from breaching their camp. The Major learns of the attack and orders his soldiers to eliminate the monsters, but it takes a significant amount of firepower to take them down, eventually. The creatures break into the camp and the situation escalates when one enters the Major's tent. The Major attempts to fend off the monster but runs out of ammunition. Forcing him to retrieve a larger weapon, another creature enters the doctor's tent and assaults. Kate, using its elongated tongue to strangle her, fortunately, Scruffy comes to Kate's rescue. Slicing the creature's tongue and killing it, more soldiers fall victim to the brutal invasion, and even the Major struggles against the creature attacking him. Kate joins Hook and the remaining survivors, and they decide to split up to rescue the Major in time to prevent his demise. This enables the Major to vanquish the creature with a bat, although he is also grappling with injuries. The Major initially wishes to be left alone but is carried by his soldiers to join the remaining group. Another attack ensues and Kate intervenes, repeatedly stabbing a monster that threatens them with an overwhelming number of monsters. The team opts to hide inside an empty cargo container, feeling perplexed. The soldiers turn to Scruffy for insight into the creatures. Scruffy recounts the Soviets invading his homeland and mentions how the monsters began appearing around that time he reveals that his father was part of a hunting team tasked with eliminating the monsters, but was killed during the mission as dawn breaks. The monsters retreat and carry away their fallen comrades. Feeling safe for the moment, the soldiers contemplate their next move. They search the area, locate a dead monster, and take it to the doctor for examination. The doctor, though uncertain, proceeds with the inspection and notes the creature's sharp teeth leading Kate to suspect they might be from a shark after further examination. The doctor concludes that the monsters are averse to some light, as their bodies seem ill-suited to UV rays. Unlike humans, the doctor dissects the monster's body, revealing human-like organs inside, leaving everyone bewildered. The Major explains that these creatures are hybrids created by integrating foreign DNA into humans, an endeavor that began when the Soviets discovered an alien spaceship in the Hindukish Mountains. In December 1979, the Major reveals that the Soviets invaded Afghanistan to obtain alien DNA for their experiments, making the Soviet Afghan war a mere smokescreen. Now, the group needs an alternate escape plan since they are low on fuel. The Major expresses guilt for letting his team down. But suddenly, the creature's body reanimates and attacks them. It seizes Kate and attempts to use its elongated tongue on her while also fending off Hook and the others, thinking swiftly. Kate counters the creature's attack and frees herself. The Major sacrifices himself by charging at the creature with a hand grenade. In the aftermath, the soldiers realize that the creature was using its tongue to read Kate's thoughts. Not for any other purpose, Kate suggests destroying the Russian bunkers. As she knows their location, the soldiers agree with her plan and decide to rescue Scruffy. However, Scruffy is determined to stay and avenge his father's death. Kate, Hook, and the remaining survivors devise a plan to blow up the bunkers with whatever ammunition they have left. Everyone loads up on supplies and reaches the underground shelter. Inside, they set up all their equipment. However, Kate accidentally drops her pendant, so Hook pauses to return it. During this pause, a creature snatches Hook and drags him away from the group. The equipment is ready to be activated, but Kate receives a radio message from Hook, prompting her to decide to rescue him. Initially, the team opposes the idea but eventually agrees. They use an elevator operated by the doctor who controls it from a military vehicle. However, the doctor's radio picks up a warning about evacuating the area within the next 20 minutes. Despite the danger, they choose to continue their mission. Meanwhile, Hook fights off a creature attempting to read his thoughts with its tongue. He quickly severs the tongue, allowing him to defeat the creature. Hook discovers the body of a fallen soldier and arms himself. Kate tries to contact Hook as the team searches for him in the lab. On the other side, Beardy finds more subjects and suspects his father was a victim of the experiments. Kate switches on the lights, revealing a massive creature inside a pod. Hook contacts Kate to reunite, but he is suddenly confronted by another monster. Meanwhile, 
The doctor faces insurgents who discover him inside the vehicle. More creatures begin to hatch. So the soldiers escape and lock the door. One soldier volunteers to stay behind to secure the door. Tensions rise as soldier Cornrow encounters another monster and decides to stay and fight. Kate wants to help but Hook insists she stay with the team in the elevator. Soldier Cornrow manages to defeat one creature with a fire extinguisher, but is killed by another before Hook can reach her. The creature begins to devour its victim. Back at the door, the British soldier loses strength and lets go, charging at the monsters with a grenade. Causing a massive explosion, Hook hides from the blast while nearby creatures are killed. The vehicle begins to be pulled into the bunker as Kate and the team are attacked by monsters, piling up in the elevator. Meanwhile, the doctor struggles against the insurgents but eventually surrenders. Beardy faces off against a monster and realizes it's his genetically modified father, but he is killed. The vehicle drops into the bunker. Fortunately, Kate manages to exit the elevator just in time. Reuniting with Hook, they escape the bunker and defeat the insurgents attacking the doctor. The survivors spot a nearby jet and quickly get into a car, driving as far away as possible. The jet deploys a massive bomb, obliterating all the bunkers. Kate, Hook, and the doctor survive the explosion. Kate reveals that soldier Cornrow handed her the hard drive before sacrificing herself. The movie ends with the survivors trying to drive to safety, facing car troubles along the way. Action Pulse recapped. Stay safe and enjoy your day.